Hello po sa ating mga parents, guardians, and students. Sa video ito, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano ba dapat gawin ang online enrollment system ng DepEd for this school year. Before tayo magsisimula, ito muna ang dapat nating ihanda. Una, dapat meron tayong internet connection or mobile data. Mahalaga ito para ma-access natin ang link ng online enrollment form. Pangalawa, dapat meron tayong cellphone or laptop or computer dahil doon tayo mismo mag -e enroll Pangatlo, dapat meron ng sariling Gmail account ang inyong mga anak. At kung wala pa, e gawan nyo na ito. At dapat sarili nilang pangalan. At panghuli, ay dapat meron tayong PSA Birth Certificate. Dahil dapat true at valid ang informasyon na ating i-fill out doon sa enrollment form. At meron ding hinihinging number doon sa birth certificate or registry number. So una, hanapin natin ang link doon sa FB page. At kung wala pa kayong link doon sa FB page, maaari nyong i-text ang inyong dating guro. So, ito na po ang link. Ipindutin natin. Pindutin natin ang next. Okay. Mahalaga na lahat ng asterisk ay ma-fill out natin. So, ito na yung child's personal information. Mahalaga na capital letter. Lahat. Last name or apelido. Let's say Cruz. Mark. Middle name. Reyes. Kung meron kayong extension, lagay nyo po senior, junior, or the second, or the third. Gender. Let's say kung wala, NA lang. Gender, male. Complete mother's maiden name, pangalan ng nanay sa pagkadalaga. Let's say Leia. Leia. Lakson. Reyes Highest educational attainment Kung ano natapos ng nanay Ang iyong magulang Let's say college level Occupation, trabaho Let's say housekeeper Or doctor or nurse Nasa inyo po yan Father's complete name or pangalan ng tatay. Let's say, Franco. Franco. Santos. Cruz. Highest educational attainment. Let's say, college or a high school graduate. Occupation, vendors, home address, so pangalan ng tirahan, kung saan kayo nakatira, let's say, Patalon, Sambuanga City. Religion, mamimili kayo dyan. Catholic, Islam, Protestant, Iglesia ni Cristo. Let's say Catholic. Ethnicity. So, ethnicidad. Tagalog, Bisaya, Chabacano. Let's say Chabacano. Transferi, yes. No, from private school or from public school. Let's say no. If transferi, indicate the name of school. 
So, dahil nag-no tayo, wala. So, repeater ba ang anak ninyo? No. Balik-aral, last school year attended. And A lang, pag hindi. Credentials available. Birth certificate, click natin to. Kung meron kayong Form 137 or baptismal school report card. Okay. Grade level. Say, incoming grade 2. Type of beneficiary. For peace bang anak nyo. Um, indigenous people ba? Cash transfer program? Or not? Let's say, for peace. Pa Pantawid pamilyang Filipino. How does your child go to school? Choose all the apl that applies. Walking to school, family-owned vehicle, public commute. Let's say, walking. Telephone or cell phone number. Type nyo ang cell phone nyo. Let's say, 0907 Okay, do you have laptop, desktop, or ho at home? I say yes. Do you have sm smartphone, Android at home? I say yes. What distance learning modalities do you prefer for your child? Choose all that applies. Anong gusto nyo? Online teaching learning ba? E-learning or through modules? Homeschooling ba? Parents will be the teacher at home? Or blended learning, face-to-face, -face and learning combination? Let's say... So, ang sagot nyo, let's say, online teaching learning. So, are you going to enroll your child for this school year 2020 to 2021? Ang sagot nyo ay yes. So, kapag tapos na po kayo na sagutan ang mga detalye na ito, ay i-click lang ang submit button. At ang panghuling steps ay hintayin po natin ang enrollment confirmation na ipapadala ipapadala sa ating paaralan na ating pinaglistahan. Ito po ay matatanggap nyo sa inyong Gmail account na inyong nilagay doon po sa enrollment form. So, sana po nakatulong ang short tutorial video na ito at always remember that staying home saves lives. So, maraming salamat po sa pakikinig at God bless us. Thank you.